in speed, depth and ferocity, the flash floods are lethal. The worst natural disaster in Brazil for decades, say officials. But that's not all. Scores of mudslides hurling tree trunks and other debris at speed. At any one, anything in their path. In the mountains near Rio, euphoria. It's been a four-hour rescue operation to get to six-month-old Nicolas Guimares, trapped in the rubble. His father, Ademilson, simply says, I thank God for saving us. In Terrasopolis, over 160 are confirmed dead, but they find this woman trapped on a roof with her dog. Grab the rope and hold on, they shout. Dog in one arm, rope in the other. She gets to the other side, but the dog has gone. Hold on, they shout. Help her. And into the arms of safety. And just in Terrasopolis, they reckon they've at least 5,000 people homeless. And one, Tanya Medeiros, who is 15, has gone into labor one month early. 10 inches of rain in 24 hours on mountainous terrain, producing sudden flash floods of immense power and speed. And at 3 a.m., when humanity's at its most defenseless. It was near three o'clock in the morning when all that water came down from the top of the hill. People were crying for help and we couldn't do anything. The water that came down was incredible. I've lived here for the last 20 years and I've never seen this in the neighborhood. In Terrasopolis, one resident, De Herosa de Rocha, is lucky to be alive. I ran out completely terrified. I heard a loud noise and part of my shack collapsed. Then I went to a neighbor's house and I sat and heard another thud coming from the hillside. I was terrified. Then the mud came rolling down and threw me about 15 meters away and a tree fell over me. These are small towns, the hospital mortuaries easily overwhelmed by the numbers of bodies. Many have still to be reached. Entire towns accessible only by rescuers hiking in on foot without the heavy lifting gear that's desperately needed. And the weather forecast for the region, rain, more rain, at times heavy and prolonged.